some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. I got a really short video for you today about a sovereign citizen who uh, tries to get out of his probation uh, by saying that he's rejected his uh, citizenship uh, for the United States, but the judge pretty much puts him in his place about that. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get this freaking S show on the road, shall we? Good morning, sir. May I have your name and date of birth? Good morning. Yes, sir. Uh, the name is Kaylin Joyner. I do apologize if I mispronounced your name. That was not my intention. We're here today on two different cases. The first is a Superior Court new case. You were arrested on allegations of resisting arrest, a Class 6 felony. I will find probable cause and I will appoint you an attorney. I'm setting a status conference on September 30th at 8.30 and a preliminary hearing on October 3rd at 8.30, both in the downtown Superior Court. I am going to issue a secured bond on this case in the amount of $2,500. We're also here today on a probation violation for violating term 21. I will appoint you an attorney. Set a probation revocation arraignment hearing on October 1st at 8.30. That will also be in the downtown Superior Court. And likewise, I'll set a secured bond in the amount of $2,500. So you have a total bond of $5,000. If you do post bond, I'm ordering that you not have contact with the arresting officers, no possessing any weapons, drugs, or, or alcohol, and you must contact your probation officer within 72 hours of release. You can contact your probation officer directly or the general line for probation will be on your paperwork. Do you have any questions? Uh, no, I denounced my uh, my citizenship. Uh, I told him that I was sovereign. And it's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for him. Oh, come on, you lame brain softar. Did you really think that uh, just because you declared yourself a sovereign citizen and denounced your U.S. citizenship that it would get you out of your probation violation? That's not how things work, you dummy. Even if you were not a U.S. citizen you committed, and you committed these crimes inside the United States, you would still be subject to the jurisdiction of the Phoenix, Arizona court system, considering that's where the offenses took place. But of course, I guess you just didn't really bother to investigate this kind of thing now, did you? But that's the kind of brain power we expect from softards all the damn time. Now, if you had uh, some form of diplomatic immunity... Maybe that would be a different story, but uh, I doubt that you are of any importance to any foreign government at this point. So, well, to be fair, that that's not a way to get out of your probation violation. Ah, I cry like Snoopy. Ah! But I do appreciate what you're saying. I would suggest talking with your attorney about what that means moving forward. Go ahead and grab your paperwork to your left and take a seat. Jonathan Shepard to the podium. And Joanna Aguilar to the chair, please. The who? The her. Well, stupid is as stupid does, and this soft tart ended up finding out that uh, just because you denounce your U.S. citizenship doesn't uh, relinquish you of your uh, offenses that you committed while a citizen of the United States. Uh, well, duh. So good luck in your future attempts to uh, well get out of your charges. So at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed this short video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. This could be some groundbreaking stuff right here. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?